Hey guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax. I'm a fashion blogger. I love to share my personal style through vlogging. It is a great way to express yourself. Today, with the help of Canon, I'm gonna show you how I create a vlog. Let's go behind the scenes. This is my camera, the Canon EOS M50. The image quality is fantastic and it makes my videos look really professional. The kind of thing I just can't get with a smartphone. It also has a screen that you can adjust to different angles, which helps you see what you're doing and what you look like whilst you're filming. I wouldn't say that I'm super confident about cameras, but the touchscreen is very intuitive. It's so easy to use. I create three types of videos. One is more educational about certain pieces or brands, which I usually film in my bedroom. Another is outfits and how to style them, which I'll film in my living room. The third is documenting my shopping trips. This means I have to have equipment that's versatile and portable. My camera's great for this, and it's not as big as other models, but the footage is still amazing quality. I often use a tripod, and I also switch lenses depending on what I'm filming. If, like me, you want to maximize the space you've got to film in, then try an ultra-wide angle lens. It makes the room look so much bigger on camera and helps to show my viewers full outfits. If you're looking to achieve a really premium look, then try switching to a wide aperture lens, which helps you get a nice blurry background effect. Good lighting is also very important. I love to use natural light as it's an easy way to get a high quality look to my videos. It's important that my viewers can see the detail in my outfits and close-ups though. So sometimes when it gets dark early or the weather is bad, I use soft boxes. They're a great way to artificially light up the room and grab those details you'd lose in poor light. I always use autofocus on my camera too. It's super smooth and very accurate. Last but not least, audio. How many times have you gone to watch a vlog and had to stop because the sound is terrible? I think we've all been there and it's something you don't want to happen on your videos. I usually just use the built-in mic on the M50 because the quality is really good. Occasionally, I'll attach an external mic too, which is good for recording your voice in noisy environments. I find inspiration from all sorts of places, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram. I look at what the trends are, how people are shooting it, and I bring that together to make my videos better for my audience. So if you're looking to get into vlogging, I'd say inspiration is key. And that is how I create my videos. I hope this has inspired you to start shooting and sharing what you're passionate about. And if you're interested in seeing how other vloggers create their content, whether that's in the studio or out and about, then check out the rest of the videos on the Canon Vloggers page.